Earlier this year, we launched a preview of Android KTX, a set of extensions to the Android framework aimed at making your development with Kotlin more clear, pleasant, and idiomatic. Since then, we had several releases, including contributions from the community. We changed the name to Core KTX, and now we're launching the 1.0 Alpha version as part of Jetpack, our set of libraries aimed at accelerating Android development. The core KTX library contains extensions to the features and functionality of the framework. But we didn't forget about other Android Jetpack libraries, old or new. Classes from Android X, like Fragment Manager, Collections, Live Data Reactive Streams, and the new navigation component have associated KTX artifacts, leveraging the features of the language, such as extension functions and properties, lambdas, named, and default parameters. Now, let's check out some examples. Without KTX, performing a fragment transaction requires starting a transaction, triggering an action like adding or replacing a fragment, and then deciding on one of the four commit methods, based on whether the commit should be scheduled or called synchronously, allowing state loss or not. Fragment KTX adds the transaction extension function to the fragment manager class, removing all the begin transaction and commit boilerplate, as well as providing default values for sync and state loss that you can easily override. To avoid forgetting to call show when displaying a toast and to simplify the code, use the context extension function from core KTX. Working with the spans API, we added extensions to the main classes, span string, spanable string, and spanable string builder to make the API easier to use and more idiomatic. So for example, creating a spanable from a string, making the text bold and only a word red can be easily done like this. Make your menu items iterable. Perform actions on each item in the menu, check whether a specific item is or not there, or remove items easily. Using the Android X to support SQLite database. When implementing database transactions, you need quite a lot of boilerplate. With the SQLite KTX, you can focus on what matters, the operations that you want to make in the database, and then just let the transaction method handle the rest. The new navigation component from Android Jetpack already offers a domain-specific language for working with it. So for example, to set up in code a navigation graph with a search action that saves you from hitting the back button 10 times to get through all the past results, and has animations for entering and exiting, you would write something like this. You would create a graph based on the start destination, add an action for search with a destination ID and navigation options. In the navigation options, we're setting the search fragment to be launched as single top with an enter and an exit animation. So core, fragment navigation, and others. All of these are the first steps towards a cleaner, simpler, and more idiomatic Android development with Kotlin. And we won't be stopping here. Follow us on GitHub, YouTube, and Twitter for more news.